Bonjour. Welcome to the university city here in central France, Clermont Ferrand. And on today's video, we're going to go exploring around this lovely central part here in France. We're going to be going, first of all, to go check out a, a local breakfast place, which has been recommended by my friend Ash Gatsby. And to cap it off, we'll be going to check out a famous, famous Gothic cathedral right here in the center of town. And I thought, what a better way to start my journey here by being at the Gare de Nord uh, Clermont Ferrand uh, train station. Great way to start the journey. So join me, Winston, as we go on this journey through the city and to finish it off at a Gothic church. I hope you enjoyed today's video and let's get into it. Well, 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 sometimes you can't win them all in the big city. And I'm here at the recommended bowl and bagel, the cereal bar. But as you can see, it is locked up and it's permanently closed. So I don't think we'll be eating any bowls and bagels today. So there's some other nice little cafes just around the corner. So I think we're just going to have to wing it and just try, you know, a local... We'll see if they've got a specialty. We'll see if there's something that they can recommend. So we'll just go to another cafe and we're just going to have to uh, enjoy for what it is. So I found a little, I would describe it as a little terrace. There's some cafes, there's some bars in a little place called Renault Place. So look, I'm going to flip the camera around. You'll see what I mean. So it's like a terrace, right? So we're in the boulangerie there. We've got the bar and the cafe. And another cafe so the question is which one should we go into this place Le Formier Saint uh, Egypt I believe it is uh, looks like the most popular place so perhaps we go in there we get ourselves a bagel and that's gonna have to be the substitute for the other joint that was permanently closed so let's go see what we can find and hopefully we can get some food to get us going for the day this specialty here the torte aux uh, legumes we oui. Uh, just have one of those. Uh, just un, 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 um, uh, Cafe latte simple flake. Uh, I'm sorry, we don't make something with the next door. Okay, no problem. They make it take away too. Mercy. We share the, okay. the task. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Good, merci beaucoup. I'm going to give it to you. Okay, let's have a look at this vegetarian pie. It's like a quiche, I think. Oh, geez. It's breaking apart, so let's just, um. Mm. It's just gonna fall to bits. Oh no, here we go. Really, really good. Egg, pickles, uh, tomato, pastry. Really good. It doesn't feel too heavy either. Okay, now onto the coffee, cafe latte, sante. Really tasty. All the all the men look it's similar anywhere you go in the world. It's pretty hard to stuff up coffee, but the French do do a good coffee. I think the biggest misconception about French people is that they're a bunch of rude, arrogant people you know you gotta understand they speak a different language especially the further south you come from Paris everyone can speak English in Paris but the further south you come uh, becomes more of a rarity for to find uh, native English speakers so I think they try their best I think they're hospitable and I think um, maybe a little bit misunderstood but that was a really good cafe latte so next stop we're gonna go to the cathedral gothic style and check it out Okay, so I just bought a red wine. So down the road, I was charged, well, they wanted to charge me 15 euro. But here, at the local tobacco, they only charged me 3 euro, which is three. So that's what it's all about. It's about enjoying the uh, Clermont Ferrand uh, culture without pay paying the hefty price tag. So I'll have a sip of this. And nothing wrong with a three euro glass of red. Let's enjoy. Let's enjoy. 
the land of the Gothic church, surrounded by beautiful restaurants, nice spacious outdoor areas just to chill out. We've even got the Gothic water fountain over here, which we'll go have a look at. Now have a look at this. So usually you'd think there'd be water running out here, but currently it's not. Wow. Water, water everywhere. Everyone have a drink. Fresh mountain water. Straight down from the hills. Down from the volcanoes. It is now approximately just after 2 p.m. and I've finally made it here to the famous Gothic Cathedral right here in the center of Clermont Ferrand. And uh, got my friend uh, Ulrika from Sweden. Hi. G'day, how are you going? It's going great and it's a beautiful cathedral i have to say it is yeah. a beautiful cathedral yeah. i would agree with that and we met a couple of nights ago so it was me yourself and a where was she dominica she's from dominica. poland she was from poland, poland yeah we pol polished off a bottle of red which was fun yeah and the hostel that we're staying at was pretty cool yeah yeah it's beautiful actually cheap so cheap well and nice. yeah, yeah that's it yeah. so look uh me and eureka we're to go into this gothic church and uh, go check it out ah let's go Oh shit, sorry. <laughs> literally a lot like walking back in time it's just the feeling is hard to describe because you've got just so much architecture history oozing off the walls obviously uh, religion's a big thing in the world but the way the french do it is just ridiculous like déjà dans cette cathédrale et nous verrons tout à l'heure où c'est très prégnant à Notre-Dame-du-Port. Euh, 
As you can see, this place is huge. Even up there, you've got like the organs, like the, which run the church bells. Unbelievable. So I've got to be quiet here in this Gothic cathedral, but if you look at these glass pane windows, I don't know the story behind it, I'm not going to pretend to be a historian, but they have got, if you look at the patterns very closely, they tell us a story about the pastime on each and every pane window. And even these chandeliers, aren't they just spectacular? So they're different pictures and each individual glass pane window has a story behind it and this is absolutely huge it just keeps on going and going and going if I was in a movie like I would literally feel like I'm a part of it like it's got, it's got an aura of this place it's kind of like just walking it'd be like walking through a time machine right and just going back to the ancient times you know the um you know, year zero basically. That's 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 the kind of feeling that you get. That's the feeling you get from being here in this historic Gothic cathedral. It's just like like even these doors, French doors. It's like just touching them, man. You're literally touching history. Okay, this is chained off. I'm not sure I'd want to go down there anyway. And you'll notice this all through France. These wells, even when you go to the toilet, that's all underground. Right, and it curbs. It's like a um, a wave. Have a look at that. It's Jesus Christ. My name is Peter. Peter, nice to meet you. Yeah. And you're from Belgium? Yeah. Oh, we. Oui. <coughs> which which city in Belgium? Uh, Lille. Okay. Uh, Lille. You go Kortrijk. Okay. Between the two. Cool, man. Uh, two kilometers of France, Belgium. Uh, oui. uh, we. You have a good day today? No. Really no. Good. Okay. Okay. But it can be better. I understand. I wish it was right. <laughs> exactly. And thanks a lot. That's okay, man. Enjoy. And, uh, Enjoy you too. Pleasure. And thanks a lot. That's pleasure okay. To meet you. you too, man. Take care. Look after yourself. Yeah. Now, I'm walking around the perimeter here at the Gothic Cathedral. Now, if you look at that in the, <laughs> in the distance, literally you think that's a building, yeah? Does it look like a building? Well, I can tell you it's actually art just painted on a wall, but that could look like a building. So as we get closer, They've painted the whole side of the, the wall uh, as if it was a building, but it's not, as you can see. So <laughs> it looks like at least you could walk through there, but it's just art, it's just painting. And that's a solid brick wall. So that is pretty cool. And that's something you'll find here at the Gothic Cathedral here in Clermont-Ferrand.